This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. 66 years of expertise built into every tool. This morning we're here to start up these four carrier units that we set we did the building new construction uh, it's about 40 degrees here South Louisiana uh, contractor wants the AC and heat started up uh, we explained to him that we would not be able to get an accurate charge on the systems today be that it's 40 degrees these are not heat pumps he said that was okay, just crank them up. And if we gotta adjust charge this spring when it warms up, that'll be fine. So that's what we're gonna do. I gotta mount thermostats, crank them up, and we'll see if we can take you guys along. All right, got all my thermostats mounted. Got one there, two, three, and another one in the room to the right. There's the duct, some of the ducting. The air handlers are up there in the ceiling. It's all hard pipe with very, very short flex runs to the registers. But everything is hard pipe. And like I said, with just very short flex runs from the hard pipe to the registers. So now I just gotta go find the breakers, power everything up and I'll crank up the heaters first. And then after that, we'll start up the condensers. All right, so here's our air handler space. One, two, three, four. All the breakers are off. Half tons. Ah, yep, we have disconnects. Very good. I didn't see the disconnect for that one. Must not be no breakers. This is, this is a three ton. Non-fused. Okay, let me see why we're not cranking up. Okay, the reason that the two and a half tons don't have disconnects, like the, these two, one, two, or three tons, they have disconnects, because there's no breakers on the heat kit. This two and a half ton, and that two and a half ton over there, I have breakers on the heat kits. That's why there's no disconnect boxes. I have the breakers on in the panel, breakers on in here. Nothing is happening and I have my thermostats calling for heat. So I'm thinking they may have not wired up to low voltage or something. I'm gonna go get my bag with my drill, meter, stuff like that. Open these units up and see why we're not running. All right, we're going to start on the first one. I love the M12, but this is the old one. 
I want the new one so bad, but there is not a Home Depot in the state of Louisiana that stocks the new shorter one. I guess I'm gonna have to order it off their website and get it shipped to the store. See, I'm hitting right here. If I had that shorter one, that wouldn't be a damn issue. That's a bad mistake by carrier. Putting a damn door screw right under the heat kit gasket. Alright, I just talked to the boss man and he said a subcontractor did the rough in because we set the condensers. But the rough in was done by a sub and you can tell this thermostat wire right here is green, the red, and the uh, white, and then there's a black. This is Romex. Well, down at the thermostat, it's regular thermostat wire. So there's a junction somewhere. And only the subcontractor knows where the junction is because I'm not getting 24 volts anywhere. But if I jumped the system out, I just jumped it. All my heat strips came in, blower came on, everything ran fine. So there's definitely a junction somewhere. All right, I found our first junction. Thermostat wire, the Romex going to the air handler. There's our thermostat. Damn subcontractor never tied it in. And I got to phone my boss and he said, oh yeah, he told me he tied it in in the junction. It looks like he tied it in all right. Gotta love subcontractors. No offense if you are a sub out there. Hopefully you do a better job than this. All right guys, I was able to find all the junctions without the help of the subcontractor, which thank God, cause he never called anyway. So all the heat's been running. Now we're gonna fire up these four. And like I said, I'm not even gonna attempt to check charge today. It's just too cold. All right, one of the low voltage wires on each condenser was left off so they wouldn't run until we got here. Not that they would have ran anyway. Obviously, except for that one. I had another guy here with me. I set two of them and he set the other two. I guess he hooked both of his up on one of them, you know, just out of habit. That ain't good. That compressor did not turn over. Well, this ain't no good, fellas. This one's drawing locked rotor on startup. Check it out. Let's see if I can. She don't want to break free. I'm going to try to hit it with a hard start. I'm going to go start the other ones up first and give this one time to settle down. All right, we're going to try this one again. I have a start kit here, just in case. Not that I'm going to leave the start kit on there because I know, well, I'm about 99% sure my boss is going to get a new condenser because we are carrier factory authorized. 
and we sell a shit ton of equipment. That's why this job had to get subbed out because we were too busy doing other stuff. The rough end part anyway. So being that we're carry factor authorized and we got a brand new condenser out the box, I just installed these, this, I'm the one that installed this particular condenser. Oh, it's been less than two weeks, about a week and a half. But we are going to touch that contactor again, see if it'll turn over. Hey. Well, all right, we're gonna dangle the hard start and just see if that'll do it. Okay, start kit's in place, just dangling, nothing's touching, because I'm not leaving it. My valves are open, I took my caps off just to make sure. I knew I had opened them, but I just wanted to make sure. All right, let's see what happens now. Yep. Now she turned over. You know, they even that damn condenser fan motor started slow compared to the other ones. We might have a dead capacitor or a weak capacitor out the box. Let's check that. It's a 40 slash five. Could we possibly? Nope, that's good. And that's good. Yeah, I need a new condenser. Electricians didn't do something funky, but they know they got it. They did all the other ones. Everything here right here is tight. I don't know, man. Let's see if it'll start now without the hard start since since I got the since I got it to break free. Nope. Oh, yep, there it went. That still ain't good though. You don't want to walk away from this unit because the chances of this thing restarting, of that compressor restarting are pretty slim. Make sure we're not getting a voltage drop on this particular unit. All the other ones cranked up just fine. Two ten. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're good. All right, we're not getting a voltage drop. Our amp draw doesn't look bad. I don't know. I'm about to call the boss man right now and tell him what's going on. But for giggles, I'm gonna pull that off and I'm gonna let it sit about five or ten minutes and see if it'll restart. All right, I got my disconnect out and I hit it again just to see. The compressor does turn over now without the start kit, but it still struggles just a hair. It could be that this compressor is just tight, but we're still gonna replace the unit. I just got off the phone with the boss man. He said, we're gonna get a new condenser, but he wants me to go ahead and put the hard start on and leave it due to the fact that this is South Louisiana. And even though it's December, we still, get hot quite often so he doesn't want him to be without air so we're going to go ahead and leave the start kit on there get the model and serial number and then we'll come back and replace this condenser all right guys i'm finally on my way out of here this was supposed to be a very simple simple start up there's our condensers but 
that is not how it went down. I was dispatched out here to mount thermostats, four thermostats, fire up all four systems in heat and cool. And that's it. And, and jam out. Well, started off smooth, you know, mounted my thermostats. Turned them all on heat. I, I heard nothing. I said, okay, well, the breakers must be off, you know, no big deal. So sure enough, you know, I forgot to go turn the breakers on in the main panel. So I turned them on, still nothing. Then I get to, you know, digging around and I have no call from the thermostat, you know, no 24 volts or nothing. And then that's when I call up and find out that, you know, I saw the Romex wire inside the cabinets being used for low voltage. And when I mounted the thermostats, I had regular, you know, 18, 18, five or whatever it was in the wall. And I knew there had to be a splice and a, or a junction somewhere. So after calling, you know, cause I wasn't part of the rough end and finding out that, you know, a sub was involved on this job because we were so busy and there had to be, there was a junction somewhere. Uh, the sub never called back to help me find them. I ended up finding them, hooked up all the junctions, got the heaters on. I said, okay, now we're in the home stretch. So I get all the heaters on and then I go to fire up the condensing units and uh, we got one of them with a bound up compressor. The rotor's locked. The other three started up just fine. So uh, as you saw, I bumped it with a hard start. It, it came on. Uh, I went ahead and took the hard start off because I thought, you know, we were going to replace the condenser, which we are. But after calling the boss man and telling him what was going on, he said, go ahead and leave the hard start on it. Because, you know, it does, even though it's December, we could get up into the 70s tomorrow and need air. He said, go ahead and leave the start kit on it. That way, if they need it, they have it. And then once we go replace it, we'll just take our start kit back off. Uh, sounds like something I would have done when I was working for myself. So I said, sounds good to me. So I mounted the start kit and, uh, and she's running all four units are running. It just, anyway, the point is, you know, you never know what you're going to run into. Never assume that you're just going on something simple because you could run into a disaster like I did. So anyway, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see y'all on the next one.